Yeah, should we bring in Pow? Is she here? Yeah, Pow and Russ are here. It's like uh, I'm, I'm getting starstruck. Oh, there they are. The people from the TV show that we need. Hello, Pow and Russ. Good to meet you. How are you? Sit, Hello. Sit, sit. Hello. Good morning. morning How's it guys. going? This Good. is unbelievable. <laughs> Make sure your headphones and stuff are on. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been following your Instagram that you guys have been kind of seeing New York for the first time. Yeah, the first time taking the subway. How What'd was you it? think? BC. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Any creepers? Any creepers on the subway? No, I don't know. Not too bad. No, I didn't feel any hints or anything, so it was fine. <laughs> oh, okay. So it was okay. Well, welcome to the show. We've been obsessed with 90 Day Fiance, as I think you both know, uh, from the <laughs> beginning. Bit. Yeah. I think you guys are one of the last couples that actually are doing great. I mean, the rest of them are kind of in trouble, right? Yeah, it really does appear. The question mark, you know? Right. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a, make, make us watch the show. All right. Happily ever after. <laughs> that's how you say it. I want to know. I'm obsessed with the guy from Cleveland and the Russian bride. I want to know what happened to... <laughs> from your season. Yeah. <laughs> with the guy, the guy who oh, smoked all Mike the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. called him Siggy Breath? Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is still together, yeah. Oh, all right, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they're doing good. Is he still smoking? <laughs> Cause... Yeah, I don't think he quit. <laughs> yeah, she can't enjoy that. <laughs> no, I met, I met a young lady from another country. Now, when you wanted to come and visit, did you need a, a, a was it hard for you to come and visit? They're all laughing at me like I'm stupid. Jim, Jim thinks that, because uh, he has a, a, a lady uh, overseas that he just wants to hang out with here. Yes, and have her come for a vacation. And he thinks that there's like a lot of red tape to get around somebody vacationing. Yeah, are you going to apply for the uh, K-1 visa? Are you going to be a 90-day fiance, Jim Norton? No, I don't want to marry her. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Next season on, Jim Norton. And where is she from? Uh, she is from, uh, I, I, I said Colombia before, but she's not from Colombia. Uh, Come she, on, we're hot. All oh, Colombian women are awesome. Yeah, um, and so are other members of Colombians. Uh, what? <laughs> women and Colombian, yeah. Colombian people. Colombian people are delightful. I know we are. But is it is it hard to get someone just to come over for a vacation? Depends. You can go with the uh, tourist visa. You can. We applied for that twice and got denied. See, that's what I'm worried about. Why'd yeah. you get denied? Because I'm Colombian. I'm, I guess. You have to show a lot of representation. Like, uh, I mean, like they have to have like a tie back to what. Their country, so they make sure they're they're going back to the country, like their job, I money, something like that, studying. Oh, so they need to have like a oh. like something that makes their life like I need to get back to my life. Yeah, over here. So they, they can't just come for like five days. No, I don't think so. Not with yeah, until Jeez. you're approved, and there's nothing you can do. It's See? really hard though. That's what I figured. It was difficult to get but, here. I knew but that. she's not Colombian, so you're fine. Man. Why is Colombia the hard one? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess Does this lady of yours have a job though? <laughs> yeah, she does, yes. Yes, she so, does. No. So, wouldn't yeah. she have to get back home to that her? That face says so much. <laughs> <laughs> her place of employment? <laughs> but yes, yeah, she would have to get back to work. Many yeah. times? Yeah. Yes, there she would. Go. Right back to work, she's going. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, go. Buddy. yeah. Work or pleasure? What's the purpose of this trip? Well, yeah, we're just uh, friends. <laughs> yeah. Just having a friend come. <laughs> yeah. But I knew it would be harder than, than they said. I knew it was going to be more difficult than they said it was going to be. Do you watch the like a uh, uh, reunion show and realize that like your problems are really not bad? You know what I mean? Oh, we were like because at... one of those other couples is a complete disaster on on the show. Which well, season are we talking about? about yes. the, the the reunion show that you, that's on right now, the happily ever after show. Oh, the spinoff. That's uh, what you're talking the, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know which one yeah. are they? Like they? Well, they're not a couple anymore, though. I mean, we're talking. <laughs> you remember uh, Muhammad and the large woman? I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do, yeah. My, my, it's my favorite couple to watch now. I haven't watched since your season. Like, I haven't seen the updates. Um, I haven't seen any. I just, I, you know, I, I don't know what's happened in season two. That's Ma better. It They're carrying really it, that's for sure. You... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Muhammad decided uh, after getting married to meet another young lady online <laughs> and just moved to Florida with her. To Miami. Yeah. yeah. But Danielle is doing the same, though. Who is? She's Danielle. She's oh. actually Went back for another one? Younger. Oh, yeah. yeah, good for her. That guy looks like <laughs> he's not from here, too. That's the problem. Like, Danielle ends up like, oh, I got this date. I got the date coming up to life. <laughs> and it's like this other, like, young, in shape guy with an accent. Yeah, he's got an accent. Like, I noticed that, too. What are you too. doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, seriously, what's wrong with her? I don't know. I kind of like... I'm embarrassed. Like. I got hate mail from one of them. Oh, really? uh, yeah, <laughs> from one of the girls from the show. You remember the one with the tattoos? And, and she was, uh, I forget who she was related to. Where's she from? I don't remember. Midwest. The kid did the magic show in yeah. one. Uh, do you remember that one? Oh, magic no, no. Show. That was Louis, Louis, Louis and. Uh, yes. 
Lewis and I can't remember. The ex Dyer? Dyer. Remember the ex wife with the tattoos? Oh, yeah. She yeah, 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 sent no. me a <laughs> fucking <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Fuck you, talking about my kids. Oh, she didn't play games. But I wrote, I actually felt bad because I was like, you know, I had the kids. And we actually wound up talking it out online. And she was a fan. So she, I think she wound up coming to a show. I don't know if we met or not. But we were going to meet, but we didn't. But we, 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 we worked it all out. Sometimes you just spout off at the mouth, not yeah, realizing no, that mean people hear anything. You forget there's real people attached to it. I mean, it's like it's one of those things where you're just fucking around on the radio, and it's like, oh, she's got kids, and she <laughs> hates me. I felt all terrible. Yeah, how did you guys... You're terrible, Jim. You I know, know I felt that. really yeah. bad. How did you guys feel about your lives? Like, now everybody gets to have an opinion on them. Like, we get to go on the radio and just, like, right. goof on it, and, 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 you know, Twitter gets to talk about it and all this people stuff. People on Twitter are mean. Like, they are mean? They are mean. They, they're terrible. Ignorant but... and relentless, that's for sure. They're mean to you, pal? Yeah, sometimes. Why? Wow. Why are they but, mean uh, to no, you? I think actually the first season, they were really mean. They were calling me like really bad names. I learned like really bad wo- like bad words. Like what were they calling you? Oh. Like gold digger and all the shit. Oh like, my seriously. gosh. <laughs> but I'm like, right now people actually are really related. They've and, been like, nicer. Yeah, okay. this time now. Let's see the, se- the next episode. They think they think Let's see what they think about it. Well, well you, you can't did. say gold digger now because you're married for three years. So it's kind of hard to say <laughs> that after all that time. It's like you yeah. can't claim that it's just for a, a visa if you're still married. And yeah. you started doing those workout Instagram videos. The booty workout. That's right. And once the booty workout videos <laughs> went up, I'm assuming the criticism are went you, down. Jim, are you going to do booty yeah. workouts with me? I certainly would, yeah. <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying because too many people have been able to pull their finger out, so I really want to <laughs> tighten my grip. <laughs> you want to go back to being the one finger kid? Yeah, huh? yeah. I want to rip. Off, I want to. I want to rip off press on nails. That's my goal. <laughs> You're gonna be my first. Uh, I'm gonna train you first, okay? Yeah, you know it's funny. Uh, the the whole trainer thing. Like I have two trainers that I use, and it's like, it, it it helps because it makes me actually go. Because a lot of times I don't want to go, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, fuck, I have to because she's gonna be there and she's gonna charge me if I don't go. So I want to going. <laughs> but it's always a female, right? Yeah, but it's only because, it, believe me, it's, it's, I don't want a male energy. I do a male energy all day. It's all men. Uh, not, not, I didn't mean to point at you, men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see it back there. But it's I, nice to have a female energy. Is she hot? Both of them happen to be very attractive, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> a weird <laughs> coincidence. Yeah. That's so odd yeah, the way that I, I dated out. one, too. That's I actually a... went up to anyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's then she really Googled me, and that was the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you're like, what? <laughs> like, well, you know. Yeah, I hope so, she's not listening to you right now. No, no, she's probably working. So is that what you do? Are you full-time training? Yeah, I'm uh, doing the modeling, acting, and sometimes, like, training people. Yeah, no, I know you're doing the acting, and you were getting some stuff, which is good. But, a yeah. little bit in Oklahoma. But Oklahoma's you know? a hard place to act. I mean, that's a very, there's not a lot of yeah. opportunities. and That's what the show's about. Oh, why are you yelling at me? She wants no, I'm, I'm just a boy <laughs> trying to make an opinion. <laughs> she wants to go to, to Miami, right? Yes, that's yeah. the idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Miami, New York, or L.A., one of those three places if you're going to act. I'm about yeah. New York and L.A. You don't like? Why don't you like Miami? Mm. Small bathing suits? No, I, I mean I'm okay with that. You're okay. Okay. <laughs> why do you? Why don't you like Miami? I I think there's more opportunity for me for my job, my career in L.A. Okay. Which is what? Oil and gas. Okay. That makes sense. What What's it been like for you, Russ? The a guy who just works in like oil and gas and stuff, just a dude, to now do this show. Have the wife, who now your wife wants to be like a model actress person. Like you've been inundated with show business. And it wasn't at all. Never in my anything in, my in your life wheelhouse was before. Was I ever considering that? No. So what's and no oil and gas? I come from a conservative background. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little protective of it. Of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People in Miami are crazy. Oh, so, <laughs> you know what it is? You're not used to the Latin guys in Miami. They they behave a little differently than like just the the, the conservative yeah, folks. They, they stop the car in the middle no, of the road. They have no no filter. Like serious to just say hello to me, like for while real. you guys are together. No, I was oh, alone okay. actually. That's gotta right. feel nice though. No, kind of <laughs> creepy. I even go from the window, like saying things, and I'm like, hmm, this remind me of Colombia, like for real. <laughs> yeah, but it's not shocking to you though. Like if no, you're in Miami, I... you're not thrown by it, right? <laughs> no. Did you feel comfortable when you went to Colombia to visit her? Did you feel safe? I mean, I lived there. Oh. So, for a short no, time. she took me to places that I was not ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Crazy places, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like where? Like like uh, certain clubs or whatever? Like downtown Bogota, where. You yeah, know, crime is very prevalent. Yeah. Uh, did you have any problems? Colombia saved it. His, <laughs> I'd say her her brother protected me with a knife in front of him. You know. Yeah. Oh, you had a, so you had an issue. I had, no, I wouldn't say an issue. Just he went bodyguards. to a stadium and they made him take his belt, like his belt off, like you know, because yeah. he wasn't like he didn't. How do you say like? Uh, he wasn't able to wear the bell in the stadium because but they it was took there. it as a weapon. Yeah, your belt? Was like a big belt, belt buckle like a belt. or something. You <laughs> oh. No, you can't wear a belt. Period. At all. Like yeah. that's a weapon. 
like they would they they pet they petted me down three times. You will slap Then we get in, in there and they're just everyone smoking <laughs> joints. I mean, they didn't care about the drugs. They just they just wanted no weapons. weapons around. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bogan was a little. That seemed like it's a little. Uh, so so kidnapping so, would scare me. So they they're trying <laughs> to take. Like that. How did that become a problem though? Because you didn't want to give your belt up. I mean, I, I asked someone <laughs> to, to cover baby. it for me, and it was stolen in the inn. I was yeah. like, hey, watch this for me, and then gone. I never took off. That bell again. Gone. You asked I, someone to watch your belt outside yeah, the Columbian Stadium? Belt. That's very optimistic <laughs> of you, Russ. It was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I want this belt when I get back in two hours. <laughs> then you go back there. Remember I asked you to watch that belt? No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is probably just from Target Belt, so okay. no big deal. But I get why they would take it. I mean, they think it's because they can turn one. around. Some American gave it to me. Turn around for fifty bucks. They were actually looking at him like, "Hey, <laughs> what are you doing here?" Oh, <laughs> the, police, the Americans the there? Is, Oh no. Yeah. Like I'm a target for sure. Yeah. It just come on. But no, he's right. <laughs> I'm a gringo, straight up. Yeah. yeah. What parts of Colombia is that not uh, a problem in? I mean, there's different areas of Bogota that you could go. But it's like in here in New York. They just, I was asking about like uh, where I can go, and people say, like, "Don't go to Bronx, like to the Bronx." Right. And I'm like, "I want to go there." They go, "I don't know." And they're like, "No, you shouldn't go there." It's the same in Bogota. But you're with a beautiful woman too. It's like if you were with like a 200 pound or 250 pound woman, nobody would care. You probably, probably. they're probably like, "Oh, look at that great American coming down." <laughs> <laughs> How did they strong feel? and true American? <laughs> How did they feel about that in Colombia that you were with a Colombian woman? No, they looking at him like me. I'm like a normal other yeah, I'd girl. I'd say I there. was more the eye candy there. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> candy. Did the Colombian women like that? Like they they want an American oh, yeah. guy? They they dig it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So sure. I'd say go to Colombia. You're single though. I don't know where I would go though. Like where would I go? I just saw Narcos. I go don't to know. Medellin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very scared to go there. Oh, Medellin. Yeah, there's med- areas of Medellin that you don't want to ever go to. There are right. The, yeah. The cartel is still there, yeah. They are. But do they kidnap? They probably don't just kill you. They probably kidnap you. Yeah. They've got the... <laughs> that's I mean, right. They had right. that, that whole peace treaty. You're scary there. Right now. now they're not going to go to Colombia. Sure. This is, yeah, this is not great for <laughs> Colombian tourism. No, it's really <laughs> go good. Go to Cartagena. Great. Yeah. Beautiful city. How no. about Cali? Cali's good. It's on the beach. No, I don't recommend Cali. Oh, why? <laughs> no, Talk to the Colombian. No, no that's not the place that you want to go. Bogota is fine in certain areas, and Medellin is really good, and Cartagena. But Cali... Ooh. Not good. No. no Did good. you like Narcos or no? Yeah, I already that's, finished the it. The Cali and... cartel's about to come stepping <laughs> that's up. That's what you say, Cali. What's that? Now they're just talking about the cartel de Cali. Yeah, yeah, but they were bigger than, uh, as they say, Medellin. They were, they were, <laughs> I only say the Medellin cartel, but they were, their Cali was Yeah, big. the Cali's already dead. So. How did, yeah. how did, what did you think when uh, uh, Jim Norton uh, reached out to you about uh, using one of your uh, bathing suits for his Ice Bucket oh Challenge God, video? Well, because if you recall, that. when the Ice Bucket Challenge was a thing, Jim I, did it in a pal uh, from 90 Day Fiance bathing suit. I forgot that I was wearing the bathing suit. <laughs> yeah. I thought I brought that myself. <laughs> I, there, oh my gosh, there it is. <laughs> now, now, Russ, when you see that, you know, does that make a little bit of your insecurity go, I'd go say no. away? No, I, I don't think that would. A mushy man in his wife's top. No, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you hanging out with? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I think it was hilarious. <laughs> If you want to, you have good boobs, though. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. The shadow really did make me look a lot bigger titted than I am. Yeah, it's sexy. The audio is terrible. That was club soda can. Ears are no good. Yeah, no, this is this is bad. Yeah. Yeah, at least you had the body to pull it off. Boobs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and there he is. Oh, that's me. Huh. It was really nice, actually. We have a great time there. That was fun. Yeah, you came to the show. Definitely How? looks better on me. Though. Yeah, you look yeah. better in it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, maybe he to wear the other part. What, uh, there was a scene on the, yeah, exactly the bottoms. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to fill out the bottoms of that bikini? <laughs> I certainly would. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene uh, during that first season of the show when you were in Russ's house and you walked down to breakfast in a teddy. Yeah. Was that legit? Yeah. It was? Yeah. <laughs> Do you Come remember? On, I just, it's comfortable, you know? I don't see a big deal about it. We didn't go for that. No. <laughs> no, we didn't approve of that. No, we don't like terrible. that. Yeah. I was just meeting like for the first time his parents, so I didn't know actually how they were, and now I know, so I should wear something more like yeah, about myself. Yeah, I the mean. parents are a bit more conservative. Yes. Are they religious? Yeah. Your parents? Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay. 
<laughs> your, your dad has to pretend to have a problem with it. Like, oh, no, we don't want to see that. No, 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 no. We don't want to. We live in the Bible Belt. What do you expect? Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to do? Are you going to stay in Miami? I would prefer of those three. I think that L.A. or New York is by far the best. I agree with you. I think that of those three, even for what you want, uh, New York or Los Angeles. Miami is good for, like, modeling, you know? But, yeah. like, acting, I will say New York. But Yeah. And I L.A. Don't know. She'll oh, definitely I... fit in in Miami. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a Latin. My Latin people. That's what I did. Yeah, but isn't it, isn't it harder to stand out if there's all Miami models? Like, if there's a million, isn't that isn't like true? Yeah, that's a good yeah point. but you know what? You're unique. You know, it's like exactly. Look where I am. I'm a flop. <laughs> 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 true. No, it's just I think I can make it. I already have a good opportunities in there already. So okay. I noticed on this week's episode, on the preview for next week's episode, <laughs> it involved Pow doing some topless work. It's imply pictures. It's not topless. But you were uh, not wearing a top. I was wearing my hands. You know? <laughs> right, right. You didn't actually show nipple. No, 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 no. I no, I wouldn't go that far. Though. No, like, but they were out. Yeah. They were implying nudity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you feel about that, Russ? Uh, the biggest thing for me was it was she never, you know, consented with me about it. She Let you know came, that it was going to happen. Came forward about it. I mean, in the end, the pictures look great. She looks beautiful. Right. I mean, make some money, but you got to talk to the boss first, in my opinion. Oh, I'm the boss, though. <laughs> okay, so that's, <laughs> that's where there is a difference of opinion. Now there's an opinion of who's the boss. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. She, you're the boss of your own titties, you're saying. It's not upset. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying it to power me. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, do you have that struggle? Like, hey, man, I, you know, in my house growing up, the man was in charge, and you have to now put up with this yeah, independence? This a, a shift. Huge, huge shift on... on <laughs> What I've grew up on, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what that's what happened when you the actually marry a boy. a lot more uh, dominant, and this one's got a very dominant personality. Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw on an episode, Russ gave her like a sentimental birthday gift. He gave her a Nerf gun, and she was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> like, seriously, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gift. yeah, yeah, gift. Why yeah. a Nerf gun? Why he was thinking about <laughs> it? I'm trying to go with the toss, toss, toss thing. You know, uh, right? I thought about getting her a real gun, but. After even getting the Nerf gun, the first thing she did, she shot me in the head. So, yeah. do I really want to give her a real gun yet? I don't think so. It was it was really uncomfortable, though, because it was like, you know, he was like, oh, here's this fun birthday gift. She's like, this is bullshit. She just, like, <laughs> threw it aside. Exactly. What did you want in for In front of all his, like, friends and everything. It's something different hey. than a stupid gift. Don't forget the gun. I got her a little crystal necklace right it's there. Like, come on, a toy. That she was wearing in the, in the scene. Yeah, yeah but... he gave me a necklace, but like at the end of the night when all my friends was around me, it's like he gave me a that shit. <laughs> yeah, <a> shitty gun. <laughs> like, it's like so, you start with the gag gift, then you end with the nice gift. That's a lesson learned. Now he's learning. Let's see what he's gonna give me next year. Give the jewelry in front of the friends, right? Because then all your friends are like, "Did he really just give you? Is he, is he yeah. deadbeat? He gave you a Nerf gun." <laughs> <laughs> that's for, that's how they perceived it. Right. That's for sure. And, yeah, because the... she's like, "Get the fuck out of here with this." <laughs> I didn't know I was that. Like, hey, what's what is this? And I was like, right. something for his childhood. And I'm like. I'm Col- Sometimes you forget that I'm Colombian. Like, come yeah. on, I don't play with that shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. And you didn't, you didn't pick up on the fact that, you know, toss, toss, you put the guns no, up. I'm no, like, I'm like, I'm over that shit. <laughs> I don't care. know what toss, toss means. That's what she does with the gun. Like, she puts your fingers like guns and goes, toss, 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 It's toss. a celebration, you know? It's like, hey, toss, toss, like, this is so good, but I, I'm over that. Yeah, but you weren't like, celebrating that day. No, I'm no, not. <laughs> no, you were not. I got put down. Yeah, quickly. and how long did it take you to get used to the fact that instead of like, like when some they if someone uh, la- laughs, they, instead of H A H A, they put J A J A, and it's like ja 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 ja. What does it mean? What does it mean? I still read it as ja 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 ja. Someone actually told me like, hey, do you know that in America is like with an H, and I'm like, well, I'm still Colombian. Right, you have not fully embraced the American. I'm like, come on, I can't do that. So what would it be in Spanish with the H A H A? Just like a lot, like a lot. That's it. Come on, it's just. Spanish laugh. <laughs> That's it. How now that it's been like three years or whatever? Yeah. Does Pal fit more in at home and with your friends and all that stuff? Or are they snore? No, I wouldn't. No. I Russ is shaking his head. <laughs> and Pal is vomiting. <laughs> no. no. It's, just, it's the honest thing to me. Because, like, I've seen like a struggle for like. I'm the dominant man, and the, you're like, well, I'm not changing. But I've never seen it go for three years. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's always there. there. It's never, like, angry, but it's always just like, no, nah, we're not going to do it that way. <laughs> it's just omnipresent. It's very odd. 
we fight behind the door. So you do. No we got to get out of that. Oklahoma. It's pretty. It's pretty clear. We I don't like even. It even you're yeah. finally yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Oklahoma's my home, and it always will be. But maybe a no. good home to visit. Yeah, Are you a little for, tired of it? Just to visit. You a little sick of Oklahoma to be I mean, at this I, point? Yeah. When I went to Columbia, lived there. I wanted to get out, and then the job brought me back to Oklahoma. So it was just like, this is the, my job. This is my opportunity. This is what we're dealing with. Yeah. And then. Here we are now looking for other opportunities. So where do you, so you, for, you, you go out on rigs, right? Like, don't you, do you do like oil rigs and stuff? I did, yeah. Okay. So Certainly, if you haven't been following, apparently yeah. haven't. No, I'm unemployed right now. Okay. And the, so oil, you, the oil industry is in shambles. Yeah, I'm the one right. working right is, now. The economy's crap right now, especially in Oklahoma. So, so what else can you do? We got, I got to get out of Oklahoma. Oh, it's out of there. Yeah. Okay. And go back to where there's oil. Because now Powell's got to sit there and do shitty, like, uh, uh, raceway modeling. Like, she's got to <laughs> show up to little, like, like races and be like, hey, uh, here's this, here's that. You just have to be on your feet for so many hours. And, like, a lot of people just staring at you in, like, creepy way. And, like, <laughs> right. uh, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm too old for this. What's raceway model? Is that when you go to a raceway and just do Is that pretty much what it sounds like? You're at a raceway? Yeah, you just stand there and, like, you got, like, some product across your chest. And then everybody oh. just kind of stares at you. But it's your Promo. job, so. Yeah. Yeah. Promotion. Smile okay. and just yeah. give the... The trophies and all those things. Sometimes it's fun, but it's like at the end of the night, you just don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, I get that would be a little draining. I mean, I, I've done it before. You done raceway uh, modeling? I certainly have. That's so cool. I just I, didn't recognize the name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of I probably wasn't using a professional term. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a bit of an outsider to the whole culture. So, how long have you been without a gig? Mm. About six months now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, is there like hope on the uh, horizon or what? I think we got to get out. And that's why she's pushing for Miami. Establishing a residency somewhere else will help me find something. But, you know, oil and gas-wise, there's nothing in Miami for me there. Here's what you do, though. Go to Miami, and it's like this wacky fish-out-of-water thing, and then the show is like, you know, Russ and Powell go to Miami, and you've got to rope in this chick, and then you get paid to do the show. That's your job now. <laughs> You're a reality star by profession. Now I have to we fit can... in in Miami, you know, because it's a lot of, like... That'll I've... be the reality right yeah. there. Right. <laughs> Right. I speak Spanish in Miami. Like, seriously, a lot. Yeah. It's hard to find, actually, people who speak English in there. So you would forget, like, you'd probably learn all the, you forget yeah. all the English that you learn. Yeah. Kind but there's of. also, yeah. like, uh, a lot of Haitians, too. <laughs> a lot of Haitians down there uh, in Miami. There's a Miami improv. We talked to the comedy club, and they said that, you know, they had to move it. Just because, like, you know, Haitian guys were showing up and heckling. <laughs> Nobody wanted to work there. <laughs> That's what I heard. Were the Haitian guys bad hecklers? <laughs> yes, I imagine where they were not pleasant. They were, like, they were, like, hardcore. Yeah, Guys, yeah, they, they they were like fucking thugs. Brutal. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Oh my god. So what else is gonna is gonna go on this season on the on the show? A lot of drama. Yeah. 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 Do you watch the other seasons? We have to with the you know, like season <laughs> you have four. To. Uh, <laughs> it records with with the. Uh, Oh, Have right. Ever after portion. Right. So you watch the. <laughs> so I got to fast forward through, you know. You know yeah. And it's hard now. Every time it gets like even worse and worse and worse with the couples, you know. Oh, they're it's terrible. Like... <laughs> they're like. It's like a wow. Seriously? Because wow. they were like, because the first season, everyone kind of ended okay. And they were like, we can't. We can't keep doing TV yeah. like this. There's yeah. got to. We need more disasters. They more, all, more all six. All six got married, right? If I remember correctly, all six couples. I think so. I don't think anyone has never got married on the show. Oh, one well, got divorced. What's that? Something? No, they got a split. Like they are not together anymore. Which Who? one? Daniel and Mohammed. No, they're still oh, they're, they're, they're not, still married. They're still well, married. They're married, but living in separate like. Yeah, Mohammed's just doing his thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're living in separate states, so it's like, hey, come on. They're separated. They're not divorced. There's no no legal. Well, it's not. Of course not. But it's still like, hey, that's not a couple. So what's that's the it. what's the green card laws now? Like, are you like power? Are you like? Good to go now as an American, or do you, or, or like, like, so if you separated? No, the first one is two years resident, uh -huh. and now the one that I'm waiting is for 10 years. So you have to be here for 10 years? No, no. you will let her stay for 10 years. Yes. Oh. But after I get that one, I can actually apply for the citizenship. Oh, so I, I see. can become an American then. Okay. Russ, is there anything in the back of your head that's like, look, <laughs> I know when the next cutoff point is? <laughs> I mean, it's three years is a long time. Maybe that's why I'm trying to hold back from Miami. Right. No. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll move to Miami after I know <laughs> that this is locked in. Yeah. Can you guys compromise and go Oklahoma to LA? And then if you like that, then you go to Miami. I don't have this anything going on in L.A. Well, like, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, what am I supposed to do? I don't have any contacts or anything. Like, in Miami, I do. So 
like a better option for me to go to Miami instead of LA. I so are you go. getting good gigs acting and stuff? Yeah. I know you did a commercial, which was great. I Like I do a local commercial in Oklahoma. I have done others with the different companies. And that little role that I did for the U.S. Army, there is an interactive film in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That wasn't a commercial. That was actually like a, for a movie. Okay. Yeah, which, oh, my gosh. I feel so embarrassed with my English. Why? Is that <laughs> good? <laughs> she showed me I thought her English was fine. It's it was... hard to see myself like, oh, because I was really nervous when I was doing it. And I'm like, oh, I feel so embarrassed. But... Did they tell you to do it better? No, it's like it, it's what it is. That was like one of the first gigs when she first yeah. started doing in Oklahoma City. Just, I always get nervous. I always like to put it down on myself because, come on, this is how I speak. Oh, wait, who is the? Uh, <laughs> I, for, I forgot there was that other girl who was a model too. Who was the little tiny girl? Oh, the little Brazilian girl. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was super cute. Yeah, she was lovely. Oh yeah, she. You was. think I'm conservative? She's married to a Mormon, so. Oh, that's right. Right. So that's he right. was holding her back quite a bit. Is yes. he really? Yes, remember, their kissing was very awkward on television, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I think you could actually hear, mm, ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sexy. Yeah. Were you happy with the way uh, you were portrayed, or maybe or the way Powers was portrayed? Because I felt like, and I was happy with it, but every every scene on that first season, I felt like Pow was either in like a bathing suit or a, a teddy in the kitchen or whatever it was. <laughs> like, were you happy with, with the way it came out? The first season, no, I wasn't. Why not? But I think I'm actually getting like more like bikini uh, shots in this season than the, the first <laughs> one. So I think How, I look better right you now. Didn't, you, didn't, you didn't like that, that you were in a bikini the entire... No, the first season I was like a, I don't know, like a drunk person or something. Mm -hmm. Like... Not that I'm not, but... <laughs> <laughs> was that in the editing, or was that just what you were doing? <laughs> I just like tequila, you know? Right, right. <laughs> but no, it just was too much. Like, yeah, didn't like it that much, the first one. This one, I'm like, I'm really happy with what's going on in this season. I mean, I feel like they were pushing hard on, like, this season. They were asking her, we went, we, they, I don't think they even showed this one, but we did a iFly where you do the indoor skydiving. Right. They're wanting her pull down her zipper, <laughs> make it look sexy. And she's like, no, this is not sexy outfit at all. I'm going to do that. Like, come on. I feel like they're pushing sexy on this this season than Yeah, sometimes the first not season. that much. Yeah. But you know what? That's got that, If they're pushing for you to do that, that means you probably have a great career in modeling and acting and things like that. Right? <laughs> not sexy way. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of sleazy TV. All right, show your cans while you're skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> no one shows their breasts when they skydive. And I love breasts, but not when someone's skydiving. That's Plus, true. it's like so obvious when you're watching. Yeah. It's like there's Pow skydiving with her tits just like all out. And it's like, language. This is obviously done <laughs> with. With the television audience in mind, like, there's yeah. no way she would have made that choice. No, it's like, come on. That's <laughs> it's like the much. least comfortable thing you could have done. Yeah. Well, no, uh, my husband actually said, no, hell no. You when, did? when can people watch it and where? Because I didn't see it. I've not seen the new one, but I will watch it. Are you really? I will watch it, yeah. Oh, it's good. You can watch it uh, uh, Sundays at 10 p.m. on TLC. Okay. And uh, I remember telling you guys about the first season and being like, this is... It's like the craziest thing you've ever seen on TV, and it's become like one of TLC's biggest franchises. Um, oh, it is. I like season four still. I'm still on board. <laughs> okay. So I watch. That's what I do on set. I watch the new one, and then I watch the happily ever after. And pe people blame you actually, saying like I'm watching this show because of Jim Norton. Come on. Well, yeah. we watched it. The season one I watched with you guys, but I never watched after. No, no, you just go to happily ever after. Okay. <laughs> uh, happily after. ever after. <laughs> I know. I was hoping the film crew would be in here and we'd get on TLC, but no, just no, no luck. They already did the sh the show's on. It's over. Like they filmed it. Oh, they're not just. Oh, I thought they, they were filmed still doing it. <laughs> no, they're I don't know how TV works. They, they filmed the show <laughs> on, on radio. radio. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. How, all right. Well, thank you, Russ and Pal.